Hey everybody, before you continue watching the video, make sure you give the channel a like and subscribe. Go and follow us on um, Instagram. Go and check out all the different social media um, scenarios. Make sure if you're enjoying the content, go there, like, subscribe, follow, so we can keep putting stuff out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right, make a comment on either of our pages and we'll answer them as soon as we can. I went through stages where really aggressive to start with. Mm. Then this um, uh, point where more defensive than yeah. having an attack strategy. So, and then as time went by, it changed into uh, I could see things I didn't see, but more in attack mode. Yeah. So you go through. So you, almost instinctively, you know what. You, as soon as the guy does something, you instinctively know what you can do from this position. Yeah. yeah. But not with thought. It's automatic because. As soon as you, and I, I remember this, as soon as you pause to think, what the hell do I do? Yeah. It's gone. The moment is gone and you've lost it. But when it comes instinctive and you naturally can see moves yeah. as you're transitioning, then, yeah. then, then it improves for you. But you do go through these subtle yeah. transitions. You develop a certain yeah. level of autonomy for the feeling. Now, this is an interesting point of jiu-jitsu because a lot of instructors and people talk about this non-tangible thing of feeling and not feelings as in emotional feelings of anger and sadness and stuff like that but this physical feeling that of the connection you have with your partner or your opponent where you feel their weight here versus here and when their weight's here it allows you to apply this yeah. technique and when their weight's here it allows you to apply this technique in the same position and i would argue this, in my opinion, again, it, this is one of the harder skills to kind of inherit and get good at because it requires a level of composure. It requires a level of um, self-awareness to be composed enough in the situation that you can actually anticipate and also be patient enough to recognize where things are without wanting to do things straight away and right now. And I'm going to force the situation. You can't force something that involves another human being. You have to capitalize on the situations as they present themselves. And to get good at that skill, you have to work on it actively. And to work on a skill like that, that's so live and so, um, you know, like similar to like a conversation that we're having right now where you say something and I respond to what you've said after I've listened to it, where you actually There's have so many re- intricates, like yeah, there, there's so changed, many you know? intricacies, but you just have to have a pa- the patience to allow these things to occur and then capitalize on them when they're there rather than trying to force them or try to make them happen. That like muscular resistance you have of trying to force and make things happen, whether it's a conversation, you know what I mean? Like when you're trying to have a conversation with someone, it's a dry, there's no, you're like, oh, so, you know, how was the weather? And, uh, and it doesn't work out. Like that's the same type of problem you have when you try to force muscularly in jiu-jitsu rather than allowing it to occur and then capitalizing on it. As and, it but, and again, the more you do it, you realize when you, because uh, sometimes uh, you do muscle, Absolutely. But, then, but then you back off when you realize it's going nowhere. And, and it destroys your ego. That's I think is so hard yeah. because right at the beginning you're not prepared to have. It destroys your ego in a way where like, man, everything you're doing to now is shit. All right, to have this feeling, this sensation, you have mm. to stop going like. You yeah, know. But, but but you know even you recognize it now. So so for example. Yeah, it's a deeper level of introspection, yeah, so like this level of understanding. Yeah, you so. you, you you can. And in fact, I as soon as I feel, so you do something, you feel yeah. the guy's weight's moved. And so you, you do something and then you find, no, no, his weight's actually still heavy. Yeah. You back off. Yeah. But in the old days, you might just grab and then try and force, <laughs> force the move. Yeah. But the problem is with forcing the move, it's going to come down to how strong you are versus him. Yeah. But if he's sitting on top of you and he weighs a similar weight, most likely you're going to lose. But even if you win, you're going to be exhausted. Mm. Yeah, so so the, the key to it, I think, in, in, in jiu-jitsu, this, you know, my opinion, is that you whatever you do, as soon as you find that resistance that you weren't expecting, mm. you need to let go. And when you learn to do that and transition, mm. 
Uh, then uh, you can move on. Yeah, look for another path. But then you train jiu jitsu. So. Yeah, yeah absolutely. then you are. Simple then as that. Otherwise, you start training jiu jitsu. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it take, I mean, it's easy to say. Oh, yeah, it's not easy to do. It's not easy to do. I'm reading a book that uh, the guy mentioned about Dan Listener, yeah. you know, very famous American. Dan uh, Lister, yeah. Yeah, Dan Lister. 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 Yeah. Uh, and he said something about jiu jitsu that I found so, um, I found very meaningful. He said, jiu jitsu. It's simple, not easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and a follow. Check out all our different social media platforms. There's heaps of content coming out. There's different snippets and content on different on different platforms. So make sure you're on everything. And again, if it helped you out, recommend to somebody else, and hopefully it'll help them out too.